looks like oh shit on now yo all right what is up hollywood action tuesday viewers so i believe there was no commentary throughout this whole tournament i don't i think which is a shame because we got to see some out-of-state talent today we got to see dg defective dagger from australia coming here after evil he made quite the run yesterday at msn getting second place he beat i'm hip and some other people but dang he beat i'm hip though because i'm hip usually like he, he saw some out-of-state people he beat uh Disney and genesis so that's pretty good he uses wario right right but uh but uh today he didn't do he didn't do too hot and that's because catch up uh character inexperienced the crap out of him Ketchup is carried through character inexperience. Actually, he's a pretty good player. Ketchup might possibly be, well, he's definitely one of the best juniors in the world, arguably the best, but, you know, there's no way to compare him to, like, the other juniors, so. But he's he's potentially uh, one of the best. He's, he, he's definitely one of the best, potentially the best. But anyway, he, he, I was talking uh, with him in case was earlier, Okay, first off, actually, on Twitter, he said he was going to go Lil Mac today. He did not go Lil Mac at all. He went King K rule against K Swiss and stuff. And then later, uh, when he fought DD, uh, he went Junior, which that you understand because, I mean, you don't get that chance often, right? The guy's from Australia. Oh, Muffin's asking for his money. Damn. Actually, I forgot to give DD his money for Fork. But that's okay because um, he. So it, it works out because. He also has to pay Xenos for his photography, and it kind of, anyway, it's the same as his payout, so I'll just give this over here. <laughs> okay, sorry. But anyway, here's your money. Anyway, where were we, guys? Dude. It, so it's a shame. I want to say that I wish there was a little bit of commentary for DD's matches. But that's okay, because instead we got a uh, junior in grand finals instead. Anyway, so I was talking to uh, Case Wiz and Ketchup earlier. And then, ooh, that's going to, oh, wow. Ketchup actually taking the first game. I mean, we saw in winners, it was pretty dominant for Valadin. But making Ketchup, uh, Ketchup, maybe he's making the adjustments that he finally needs. Because um, when I was talking to Ketchup and Case Wiz, I was like, all right, you guys have to fight on stream next. And then Case Wiz looked at Ketchup, and he was like, who should I use? And then Ketchup was like, honestly, dude, I actually struggle with Lucina the most. And Cases and I were like, what the? And then he was like, yeah, I'm serious. Like, I'm pretty pretty confident against Paul Tina. You know, I can go in. I've beaten Jump Steady. But Lucina, man, whew. And then it, it kind of showed today, you know, in winners when he was up against Aladdin. Like, he, you know, he, we were like, what, 3 0, I believe? I don't quite remember the score, but it was, it was dominant on the Latin side. Um, Case was, I believe, tried going Lucina as well, but I, you know, Ketchup kind of just like had a player at him with that King K rule. And I'm, I'm honestly, I'm assuming that Lucina wins that matchup, right? Ooh, Lucina versus King K rule. I've played that matchup before. I went Lucina against King K rules, against Bans King K rule at the commentator bracket in um, uh, the Goodwill tournament. That was fun. But here, oh man, these forward airs. Oh, but catch up. Of course, we all know Bowser Jr.'s up airs are pretty good. Air dodging out of that back air. That could have been deadly since it was so close to the, the blast zone. Oh, he kind of hesitated there. I, well, you know, whenever someone does that dash back like that and they kind of slide, I never feel like that's intentional. That's such like a scrub move, you know? I, I rarely ever see it, too. What is this tag? Super Junior 45? What the heck? Okay, so what do we have here? Valadin with this lead though. Oh, oh no. Okay. Won't kill off that, but potentially an edge guard. Ooh, good on Valadin. Being able to like fade back a little bit. Because he knew that, you know, catch up was going to go off for the edge guard. And Junior, like he has these huge forwarders, right? So, you know, it's good for edge guarding. And so, Valadin knew, like, Ketchup was trying to use some of that. Ketchup is going to take Valadin's first stock, finally. Ooh, ooh, combos. Yo, dude, it's always fun when you're, like, 
using oh that's a stop. It's always so fun when you use like your opponent's like own items against him. Like potentially, we could have saw Aladdin like you know shoot him off stage and then catch up like Mega Koopa blows up, blows him back into Aladdin. Aladdin and if he got like an up air or something or an up smash, easy clip right? Uh, that didn't quite happen, but I got excited in case that was about to happen. But okay. Ketchup did win the last game, but this one, I mean, it's it's back to Lucina. The problems, man. The Aladdin's, again, the Aladdin's just so dominant. I use both of these characters. Not that that matters, I just wanted to say that. Because I'm the star of the show. Just kidding. Um, let's see. So what, what can I say about these two? Hmm. Oh. That, that's something too. Um, pe so, if you ever talk to a junior main and you're like, oh yeah, I can, my character wins because uh, I can give him. Junior main's always gonna be like, actually, dude, it's not that easy to me. It, it's not that easy to give junior. And that's true. Because junior has side B, he can spin out out of side B and use another side B. And when he's when he uses the up B like right there, he can air dodge. Ooh, that up is gonna catch him. He can air dodge, he can throw out ha hammer, he can just grab the ledge or go past the ledge. Like, it's not as easy as people think. If you think it's easy to Gimp Jr., like, you probably aren't fighting the greatest ones out there. Not, like, they don't know their options too well then, or they don't mix up as well as they should. Switching it up, we're gonna counter pick it to Kalos. Now, uh, Lucina mains generally like Three, platform because they can charge underneath them, I think. I like it like that at least. So if you go to Kalos, there's only like platforms on the sides. And you're like, dang, man. But it doesn't matter. Because uh, Aladdin, man, he's still getting it on. Ooh, how are you going to land? Oh, wait. Ooh, did he get to there? Actually. Um, if he meant to there, he did it like way too low. I, I was for sure expecting him up there. Okay, but Ketchup had a rocky start, but you know. Ooh, okay. Try to fair, but Aladdin with these lift punishes. Forward tilt, chase him down with that there. If there's anything that I learned from Proto Banham at Evo, is that you need to abuse the crap out of there if you're Lucina. I mean, like, we knew it's good, but like, dang. Dang, it's like super good. Ooh. Okay, okay. That could have been a setup. But uh that check is rolled away. Dropping shield, like yeah, yeah, that that senior's are looking out for that. He's still oh he's done. Done, done, done. He used a side beat jump so earlier, so he didn't have another side beat since he got hit before he can grab the ledge. This is, uh, ooh, what, what can Ketchup do here? He, his Lucina problem coming into play against, arguably, SoCal's best Lucina? Like, Aladdin's a PR level player, in my opinion. So. But Ketchup is no stranger to these PRs. But a PR, PR level Lucina? Yeah, he can struggle with that. Oh, jab block into S, man. That was beautiful. Great awareness. But. Oh, actually, it's not. It's, it's still a pretty even game. It's not that much of a lead for the ladder. That down air. Um, ooh, nice, nice uh, bait. Going up there and then making them roll in. Classic stuff for the story. Fire on the characters. Aladdin's just kind of like, you know, he's waiting. He's like reacting to a lot of catch up stuff. He's like waiting for catch up to move, and then he will like dash back and like, you know, with punish him and stuff. I mean, he has a huge sword, so make use of it. Ooh, catching that jump. But, you know, three up airs. Ooh. Vla yeah, Vladimir's trying to finish this. He will throw out his nares, back airs. And, you know, 148. Nah, I don't think Fair's going to do it yet, but it'll, it'll send him off stage, which is good. Ooh, landing up air. Okay. But, you know, Junior's not the lightest, so he's not going to die to that quite yet. Um... If he was, if he's a little higher, the up air should kill though. At 161 for sure. Okay, weaving in and out, weaving in and out. Whoa, that was so close. Oh, it's 
falling out of that side view, but yo, that was that was some crazy. That was a crazy sequence right there. Um, Ketchup tried to F smash, and then uh, Aladdin did the did the air dodge like towards him, like just avoiding all that F smashing, going right behind him. And that side B should have been it, but at higher percent, it's very easy for uh, opponents to fall out of the side B for Lucino. But finally able to take that proxy. There you go. He's just kind of waiting for Ketchup to come in. He'll you know, like dash back and F to dash back side B. Working out really well. Ooh, that jab won't do it yet, but uh, Junior's jab is insanely good in this game. Insanely powerful. Well, it was super powerful in Smash 4 too, but it was extremely easy to SDI out of it. Like, even more than most moves. Oh, no punish on that side B miss. I mean, up B miss. That up B not going to miss. Oh, just, again, waiting for catch up move and just reacting accordingly. See that side bear? And side B and just beats his man this time. Ooh, up bear. Dude, that caught him a little off guard, but it doesn't matter. Like, he's still he's still living, you know? Oh, the setup using the landing forward air. People often forget about that hitbox of that move. They, they uh, kill the first part, and they just forget about the landing, landing hitbox. Uh, that was the thing in Smash 4 as well. Like in Smash, and it's crazy, like that landing forward air will like set up into up smash too. Like that was actually a kill option. Uh, not safe on field though, so you don't see like too too often. But it was definitely a thing. Oh man, catch up at 143. You know, as long as Vladin plays this patiently, he doesn't even have to throw out like smash attacks. Like, as long as he gets like a nail or a back air, that's gonna be it. But maybe if he plays a little too patiently, a little too carefully, I don't know. Ketchup might be able to get something started. Dude, that one moves like that though. Oh, run up F toe. Yeah, that that covers so much space. If you like try to like jump over it too, like that top part of F toe will like still catch him and stuff. And you, know, he runs up and just does it right. So you can't even like react to that. Ooh, that forward air almost caught him off guard. We're still living. 171 though. Up air's gonna do it. Up tilt's gonna do it. Oh, there you go. There's the up air. So Valadin's gonna go up 2-1. Catch up probably hears me right now too. And they're right there. Yeah, yes. You guys can hear my commentary, right? I'm not on mute this whole time. That would have been an epic prank. You guys like my Game Boy shirt? Shout out my Twitter, QuantSSD. Do you guys know Valadin made a Twitter? You guys should follow him too. I forgot what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's just like at Valadin something. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. Three, two, one, go! Potentially last game here. If Valadin wins this, then he will take it. I believe it's like. Oh, winner today gets a hundred bucks. Loser, fifty bucks. Ooh. There are the other combos that we like to see. Damn. Okay, wait. I'm not. I'm not commenting now. I'm just reacting. But okay, so uh, Valadin is using Lucina, as you guys all know, and Lucina has a shoot sword, which is really hard to get in um, because of most characters just struggle with that, right? Junior as well. I mean, what can Junior do? Try to forward her? Nah, son. That's gonna happen to you. And then, you know, Junior's like this big. Bulky, like fat target as well. It's tough, it's tough life. Hey, if that was Smash 4, he could have edge canceled. But we're playing Ultimate now. Smash 4 catch up love to do his edge cancels. He would stall on the freaking ledge with them. He'd do like up E, hammer, and then like air dodge cancel at the edge and just do it again. Can't do that here though. Try to air dodge through it, but that nair lasting so long. We'll take the stock. And then, like, now that 
you know, Valadin has the lead, so it's like Valadin doesn't even need to approach. So he's like playing it cool and calm. Uh, he'll, he'll get up real close and then like bait out some attack and like just he'll back off and like with punish. And then and then once in a while he'll just like go in unexpectedly with like that run up F tilt, catch you off guard and stuff. Ooh, again, nice drift back to dodge the forward air edge guard. You know, if Lucina does get hit like that, you know, that could mean the stock for her. She does rely on that double jump. Alright, so get him off stage. Oh, just try to F smash. The timing was a little bit off, but I like that. Alright, catch up. Yeah, he needs to take this first stock. How are you gonna do that? No kill throws. Using cannonballs, throw out some items. Oh, yeah, Aladdin's just too calm, man. He's not rushing anything. Taking his time, getting up, shielding, maneuvering through all the items. Not panic, like running or anything. Oh yeah, yeah, back here. Like, uh, side B is one of Junior's like best tools. Not as good as it was in Smash 4, but still a very good tool. But I mean. You know, when, when Junior's use side B, the hitbox is just like that area in the front. It's not going to beat Lucina's huge sword with all the with that disjoints or anything. So that's something you can use uh, too reliably against swords and stuff. That's a punish. Oh, no, actually not. The, pla the platform placement kind of helped out. Ooh, that back is going to do it. I saw an O smash coming out from... Uh, Aladdin. Oh, trying to go in. See, see what I'm talking about? Right, like as soon as Ketchup was trying to go in, he tried to go in with that down air. Which, um, if you guys don't know, if you hit the ground with down air, there's a whole bunch of lag. If you hit someone's shield or you hit someone, then there's a lot less lag. But um, he tried to go in with that down air, but Aladdin saw that, just dashed back, and then he hit the ground, has a whole bunch of lag, and Aladdin just sucked you first. This one back there, get another back there. All this percent on him. Oh, and a shield breaker. Okay, well, we're going home. Congratulations to Valadin for winning Hollywood Action Tuesdays. I think this is number 76. If not, whatever number this is. It is. It is Hollywood Action Tuesday 76. I knew it. If I didn't know it, how could I have said it? What do you mean?